It's Tuesday morning, September the 27th of 2022, and we are in World War III right now. see on the screen there there is the um the bricks alliance and that's what we're going through right now it literally is nato verse bricks bricks is an acronym for brazil russia india china and south africa from left to right you have bolsonaro which is brazil's president you have putin there which is the president of Russia, Xi Jinping, communist, China, Cyril Ramaphosa, South Africa, and Prime Minister Modi there on the uh, far right side. So they are the BRICS nations. They are an alliance of, um, I mean, trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars of resources and um you know people and you know they're they're not going to be bullied anymore they're not going to be bullied anymore by the globalist controllers who for since probably recorded time have had their way all around the globe they purposely kept military advancements to themselves. They've purposely kept resources to themselves. And if they wanted it, they went and got it. They used the, the blood of our sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, cousins, uncles, nephews, moms, dads, grandparents. It's our blood in desert sands all around the world fighting for these communist globalists, these Satanists who uh, want to control the world. They're, you know, you got to figure when you have all the money in the world, what do you do next? They're playing a big game of chess. It's in my book, Alien Game of Chess. They're, they're playing a big game of chess. Uh, there's going to be a fight. We're in World War III right now. We've been in my opinion, since around 2019 when the pandemic started and 
you know, it's all piecing together. I, I promise you something by the end of this video, I'm, I'm not going to ramble, uh, which I don't. I mean, it's just a lot of information. This is, you know, long format. This is a talk radio format. Covert radio is um, something that you put on while you're doing something else. It's not to stare at your screen you know, put headphones on or whatever you have or turn it up a little bit, keep cooking or, you know, whatever you're doing. This is long play format, uh, talk radio format. And when there's something on the screen that I want you guys to look at, I'll just say, take a look at your screen. But um, you're going to be a lot smarter in the next 10 minutes then you could be if you studied this for five years straight. I'm going to tell you a perspective that is based off of tons of, of reliable information. And I'm talking, you know, firsthand information. Not, I've seen it on the news. This is, I've talked to people I know people, my own doctor is uh, from India, and he's lived through communism. He's one of the smartest people I've ever known in my life. And I'm raising alarm bells because logically, there's no other outcome here than conflict. And we're the ones that are going to suffer. They they are the ones who are going to be in bunkers, you know, secluded somewhere, out of reach of, you know, surface-to-air missiles or underground, under the Denver airport, wherever they're going to be. I'm not saying them. They have their own layers. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, the controllers here in America who um, have their underground tunnel system. And they can be from D.C. to Denver in less than two hours on a high-speed rail. It's underground. That's what all these sinkholes opening up over the last 10, 15 years. You know, these, uh, oh, on the news tonight, uh, you know, uh, people in the neighborhood of XYZ, you know, they kept hearing these loud booms. They keep, you know, the ground was shaking. Oh, I wonder what that is. These, these are the machines that are uh, three, four, five miles underground that literally melt rock, bedrock, as they move about, would, it, would they, I've, I've read somewhere it was like uh, an inch a minute. So, you know, these, um, this has been in the works. They knew this was going to come to a head. And that's where we're at. The people on your screen are not going to be bullied anymore. They're not going to lose their resources. They're not going to lose their oil. They're not going to lose their lithium. Okay, they, they have trillions and trillions and trillions combined, trillions of dollars of assets. I mean, how many... You know, how many um, corporations have taken advantage of India over the years? I mean, this has been going on for that I know of closely that I've paid attention at least 20, 25 years. When I was mm, heavily involved with, with design, web design, uh, and then I moved more to the techie side, I was um, internet protocol specialist, then I was a fiber optic network analyst, uh, but still I can't help the right side of my brain is very, uh, active and I'm a very creative person. Um, I'm a little bit sick in the head. I have problems when it comes to like OCD and you, you know, I can't, um, I can't just throw one thing away. I got to make sure there's two or if there's one, I got to break it or rip it in half. So there's two minimally. I can't leave one thing on the shelf if there's only two left or three. I got to buy all three. Like, there's a lot of weird things. Eh, that's not what this is about. It's just that I'm a, I'm a very creative person. I've been hit, <laughs> I've been hit on the head uh, a bunch of times, and they say it either makes you smarter or dumber. Uh, I don't know, but I'm still getting hit on the head. 
but being 64 you know it, it the world was not made for people that are sick you want to see something funny i think his name's ryan phelps this the swimmer the um olympics swimmer look up uh i think it's ryan phelps but look him up he did a short or a tiktok or something about um the you know the the uh, athlete village or the olympic village whatever it is where all the olympians stay and this was in china beijing i guess uh, and and he shows you all these clips of what it's like to be in China. I mean, he's like a monster walking around. You know, he, he's like got to bend his neck so his head isn't dragging off the ceiling off these brand new hotels. It, the water, the shower head is hitting him mid, mid chest. I mean, he can't, you know, he has to like almost crouch down in a catcher stance to get a decent shower. Like, you know, I've been hitting the head a lot, but anyway. Neither one of these uh, uh, alliances, these coalitions, neither one of them are going to back down. And these guys on the screen are not going to be bullied. They have their own. Um, they have their own plan, and it's in action right now. And I'm ring, ringing the alarm bells because it is going to affect us, us, you, me, listening to my voice. If you can pull yourself away from all the bullshit drama in the sector, give me 10 minutes and then give me five and then I'll probably be done by then. Okay, maybe take a couple notes because I promise you, you're going to be the smartest person you know with regards to what's happening right now. Ego will always overpower somebody that has low intelligence. That's why people fight the police, because they're too stupid to realize the police don't lose because they just call more police. Then that if that's not enough, they just call more. And if that's not enough, they just call more. And if that's not enough, they start using force. And if that's not, see what I mean? You don't win against the police. So smart people are like, yes, sir. No, sir. Thank you, sir. No problem, sir. Okay, don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. But we're going to have food problems here starting this fall winter. And I've been sort of telling you guys this. You guys this. I have the backyard medicine cabinet list if you want to become a Patreon. I have tons of information that I just really haven't had time to get together for for publication for you guys but there's so much information online get yourself a little shopping list get get a few extra cans of denti more right now get a couple bags of rice i mean this is nothing new i've been telling you guys this for a long time but if you can't see what's happening with now there's another uh fire that adds to the list of like 30 or 40 in the last six eight months maybe year of massive uh, food, centralized food processing plants or warehouses. And this is going to cripple the supply chain with food. And, you know, even right now, my dogs uh, are suffering because there's a special human-grade treat that I can really only get about once every month now. Um, I have not seen Honey Barbecue great value uh, corn chips in in probably two months and, and i know that sounds stupid but these are just the early signs and it's it's a lot of other stuff too certain cereals you know are disappearing i mean really dog food as a whole is hard to get i'm saying wet food but um this is a war of attrition just like world war ii uh this is a war for oil just like i've explained when the day this started with Ukraine and Russia, I uh, check that video out. I'll link it in the uh, description there. But this is a power struggle like none of us have ever witnessed in history. We've never seen the likes of two conglomerations fighting about to go toe to toe uh, for for dominance, really. And this isn't an opinion. I have tons of articles. I'm going to go over just a couple, but just pay attention because like I said, if you really want to know what's going on, 
don't turn on the news. Just listen. Because everything is propaganda now. Just like the new, uh, you know, uh, Top Gun. I have a Top Gun actual instructor who was at the actual base that the original and parts of the new one was filmed at. And he's on a stage on the May 27th or whatever day it was launched. And they did a whole big preview. And then, so now we have four actual Top Gun fighters on the stage. And what did you guys think about it? So this one, like, captain goes, I was there for the first one, la, 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 was saying, He's like, and just like, just like the first one, we had an extreme spike in young people wanting to join the Navy to become, to become pilots, you know, fighter jet pilots. And there's zero doubt in my mind that this movie's done it again. So you know what? Mission accomplished. Oh, mi- mi- what? mission accomplished. So let's remake this movie. We got to get the numbers up for the military. Like, there's everything is laced with propaganda in the news, especially you guys know that, but you're not going to get what I'm about to tell you from anywhere. So just please pay attention. Give me five more minutes and we'll go from there. We've never seen anything like this. And this isn't some wacky power hungry leader like uh, Saddam Hussein who painted him as a wacky clown or uh, Muammar Gaddafi or, you know, Kim Jong-un or, you know, it, it, this isn't like that. You see the guys on that screen? Again, these guys manage and control and are in charge of and, and are elected to protect trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars worth of assets in their country resources in their country, oil in their country, natural resources. You know, and I I can't ignore and you guys can't ignore just the 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 double crossing that's happening. And I'll say specifically with lithium. You know, lithium is is the core component now to the, to the future and green energy and, you know, Teslas and wind farms and, you know, solar. Where do you think the generated power goes? It goes into banks and banks and banks of batteries, lithium batteries. Lithium is a is a resource that is mined. And one of the biggest mines is controlled by that guy standing right there. The one all the way on the right. Cyril Ramaphosa, he is the president of South Africa. And South Africa, and there's a few others like Australia, but South Africa is is basically one out of two of the biggest lithium mine operations in the entire world and out of that that uh mine 97 percent of the lithium that comes out of that mine is refined in china so skip over uh skip over um uh, oh no he's right next to him xi jinping okay so they're holding hands. And you might as well put a little, uh, you know, some raw lithium in their hands because 97% of it, while at the same time, you have these communist controlled companies and media outlets in America constantly brainwashing your kids and us that fossil fuels are dead. We got to get away from oil, oil dependency, oil this, you know. La, 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 shut down the pipelines. I mean, they're crippling America. They're shutting America down one oil rig after the next. After the next pipeline, they're shutting down another pipeline. And it is being controlled by this communist in the middle of the screen right there who has both Hunter and Joe Biden in his right pocket And he has Pelosi in his left pocket. 
the people who are responsible for taking care of policy and laws and protecting the American people, the American economy, has sold their souls and ours to the communists. Because at the end of the day, it really is, my family's going to be fine. My family's going to be fine. I don't give a fuck if 20 or 30 or 40 million people in every city starve to death by this time next year. Because I'm going to be six miles underground in a in a, a bomb shelter resort with swimming pools and, you know, like if you look into it, look in some of the um, decommissioned missile silos out west that have been recommissioned into bunkers for millionaires, a a millionaire billionaire hotel five, five, six miles underground. And again, heated pools, saunas, you know, gymnasiums, enough food for the next 30 years, enough fresh water. They have, they've tapped into uh, natural springs under the ground. They have batteries as big as a million dollar house. Like they don't care about you. You don't even care about you because you don't care enough to pay attention to what's happening. And something tells me over the years, it's only because people have talked about, people spoke about it, people shared information, and it was able to avert certain situations. Because you can't blind some uh, some you can't blindside somebody if they know the punch is coming. That's why I've said for a long time, just wake up and, and just pay it. To, can you give me five more minutes? The communist, that guy in the middle of the screen right there, has Biden, Pelosi. God only knows who else. And I know there's several more. I never got to go over red-handed the book that... uh. Peter Schweitzer wrote that I I read at the beginning of the summer. I could not wait till it showed up. And then I couldn't put it down. It'll make you physically sick to your stomach once you realize the level of corruption that is in Washington at the hands of this fucking communist on the screen right there. And so much so that uh, they control a lot. Uh, They're... And, and the funny thing, like I said, is that it's a double, it's, it's double jeopardy. It's, it's, they're backstabbing us. But again, the people who caused this problem don't care because their family's going to be fine. They don't care. The media they own, the publishing they own, none of it's going to give you the truth. It's just going to keep giving you these crafty, you know, brain dead, liberal created marketing jingles and words and all this stuff that, uh, you know, that you're going to be paying for, your kids are going to be paying for through taxes because now they have a, they got their college education for free. Why are we in World War Three right now? And how bad is it going to get? I almost feel like my entire life, adult life, has been leading up to this point. Since around 96, 97. And I've told you guys that story. About the Cobra report that I read a long time ago that was that was classified. I'm not going to go over it now, but... I've been feeling like I've been preparing for this my whole life. And it's, I don't want to see what's happening. I don't see any way out. I don't see any way out of it. I don't see how it could not happen. These people on the screen, their, their land, their resources, their future, their people's future, who at one point in time, all of them have have uh, suffered at the hands of the of the Americans and the American uh, alliance, you know, the NATO, the the CFR, 
which is, uh, will you will own nothing and you will like it. You see, not to change the subject, but do you see how short Putin is? And I mean, with heels on, he's standing there at about 5'4". So you could see, and he's actually a little bit taller than or about same average height as all of them. So at the tallest, you have Xi Jinping standing in the middle. If Putin's 5'4", 5'5", Xi Jinping is probably, what, 5'7"? There are articles after articles after articles written about Napoleon syndrome and world leaders and how deadly serious they are about their image, about their, you know, their, their, uh, their control, their heavy hand, because they always feel disrespected. They, we talked about this one of the last videos. You know, the other day, um, I talked about tactical nukes and I hope you understand what's about to happen. Oh, here, I wanted to show you guys this, you know, talking about China who is backstabbing us. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Let me see. This is the New York times. This was, let's see here. This was yesterday or uh, yeah, this was updated yesterday. It was written on this on September the 25th. It was updated last night. Um, dodging blackouts, California faces new questions on its power supply. A, 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 uh, it's not the power supply. It is the power conditions and the laws just immediately enacted about getting rid of, 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 you know, fossil fuel. Just like last summer was the first summer, I believe that, um, small engines were outlawed. So in a, in a state where the grass grows 365 days a year, everybody had to ditch their gas powered weed whackers, their gas powered mowers, uh, all to get battery operated lithium, battery operated um, yard machines and small motors you if you keep shutting nuclear plants down you know nuclear power generating plants if you keep shutting down coal burning uh, power plants you don't have the infrastructure the batteries or really the desire or understanding to replace that. I, I don't care what solar, you know, uh, system you put onto your house. You could have your entire roof lined with solar panels on both sides. You could have your entire garage and maybe the, you know, the south facing side of your house all lined with 300 solar panels. And unless you have a room literally a room filled with batteries uh, and a lot of sunny days. Because of the, 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 the microcrystalline, uh, you know, solar panels, they, they charge up even when, you, and when it's cloudy. Yeah, I know, but it's still not as efficient as when the sun's out. So let me ask you this. And you only know this if you run solar, which I do, not in my house, but I, you know, I have solar. You're not running an air conditioner or, uh, you know, two window air conditioners and about five fans, a TV, your internet, a couple computers. You're not running it. You're not running it. This is the, this is the, 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 uh, the double jeopardy. This is the backstabbing. The communists has gotten the leaders who they own to shut down our power, to turn off our pipelines. And now there will be rolling blackouts and it's only going to spread like a wildfire. It's this is this is going to be the same exact article for every single state in the next five years. 
if it keeps going like it is. And that's with untold, I don't know how many millions and millions and millions of Americans dead. I don't know how many dead in the next five years because of the food, because of power, because of, you know, God only knows how bad the weather's going to be. I'm telling you, this is the first time in our lives that we're, we're going to, we're going to see what's about to happen. We are going to live through it. You, you know, you, you may live through it, I should say. So the next few days, just so you understand about how, why I said about, we're probably going to see tactical nukes. I'm going to tell you something that, you know, you may have read somewhere. Maybe I don't see, I don't know if the news covers this because I don't watch it, but I did try to search a couple things before I, I hit record on this. And it's it's actually very startling how censored Google is compared to DuckDuckGo. Because I did a keyword search for something very specific. And the first two pages of Google was something that I was not really looking for or saying. It was creating a perspective that I'm not interested in. I had a specific question. I needed specific information, yet Google decided to return to me uh, propaganda instead of anything, any article mentioning the keywords that I just searched. I go to DuckDuckGo. The first three pages are laced with nothing but hits from the exact phrasing that I stated. So again, I don't know what's all being put out there that isn't propaganda. But just so you understand what's about to happen in the next few days and how important it is to the world, not just for us, not just for military personnel, uh, it's going to be the people on this screen and all of their citizens and NATO aligned countries like us. I don't know if you heard this or not. This was only a few days ago, maybe a week at the most. Putin mobilized uh, 300,000 more troops. And it's like the draft all over again, like the Russian version of a draft. You don't have a choice. You're you're mobilized. You're drafted. Uh, here, we'll fit you for a uniform. Here's some, you know, quick boot camp or whatever. 300,000 more troops. By the time you hear about stuff like this, it's totally twisted from what the reality is that's happening. Like I said, I don't I don't watch the news in America. I very rarely read any papers. Um, it's just bought and paid for. It's it's just propaganda by this guy standing in the middle of the screen right there, who's literally one of the key uh, players in overthrowing America's sovereignty. Because he and his communist buddies have a view of how they think the world should be. And just like NATO and the aligned countries have a view of how they think the world should be. And just to let you know, before I go on, how deadly serious these people are about what they believe. And, you know, it's going to be hard to kind of read this, but I'll show you the article anyway. India, which is part of the BRICS, it's the I in B-R-I-C-S. It's the I, India. India, and this was when? When was this? Let me see here if I could scroll this down. This was this summer, June 21st, 2022. This is Bloomberg. India to resist anti-U.S. messaging at the BRICS summit with Xi Jinping, Xi and Putin. So India, President Modi, is going to be at the BRICS summit representing India, and he's already predicting, or the media, the propagandists are already predicting, that there's going to be a lot of anti-American rhetoric at the conference. India wants to study criteria for expansion to be decided upon. 
India is expected to push back against any anticipated effort by Chinese President Xi Jinping to use this year's BRICS summit as a platform to highlight his efforts to build an alternate alternative to the U.S.-led global order. You understand what that says? Xi Jinping and his BRICS alliance, Putin, Russia, uh, South Africa, with all the lithium and uh, Brazil, they're going to get together, just like the G27 conferences they have, G25, whatever. But they're getting together, the BRICS nations, and Xi Jinping is the, he's going to orchestrate what his vision is for an alternative to how the U.S.-led global order is. And I assure you, you should be terrified of what Xi Jinping believes is, is considered a citizen. You are a number. You're an organ, uh, basically a, a, an organ, um, what's the word? reciprocal i don't know you're an organ holder you know if they need your kidneys bye-bye if they need your heart bye-bye say anything that you, you, you talk enough shit you don't get to fly you don't get it to go into public you know this was all warming up in the last couple years so all the systems could be put into place so you get used to systems like DoorDash. You get used to systems that people bringing you liquor, people bringing you food, people going shopping for you. You don't have to leave your house. You interact with people through surveillance that they control, through Skype, through the internet, through, through social media. And then if you are allowed out of your prison cell house, then you must be within three or four feet of other people. That way, the cameras can get a clear, identifiable shot and track you because China, the way they run their system and the way they want to see the world run is to have one surveillance camera for every 3.4 citizens. You go nowhere without being tracked. You go nowhere without your biometrics being tracked. You don't ride a, a, a car in a car in a sub, nothing. Everything you eat, everything you buy, it's all tracked. There's no money. There's no cash. Just swipe, swipe, swipe. It's the mark of the beast. We've talked about this a, a thousand times. But right here, like I said, he's he wants to uh, convince India, get away from America. But see, America, this has been going on. This is coming to a head. That's why it bothers me that not a lot of people are as worried as they should be. Because it's all coming to a head. Uh, India negotiators will look to ensure any joint statement out of the summit is neutral and prevents uh, the attempts by China and Russia to use the summit to score propaganda victory against the U.S. and its allies. The official said, Modi's government will also seek to delay China's effort to expand the BRICS grouping by pushing the organization to decide on criteria for adding new members. Hurry, 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 because by the time we destroy NATO, we're gonna, we need to have the criteria ready for new members to, to step on, to, 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 that we can fold into our group. BRICS has become a platform for discussing and de uh, deliberating on issues of common concern for all developing countries that normally, and I'm, these are my own words, that normally the globalists uh, would come in and they'll uh, hurry up and try to loan you a bunch of money so that you can be folded into the Rothschild banking system. Then that way they'll bring their corporations in so that they can control all the natural resources you have. Hey, by the way, don't worry. Nobody's ever going to attack you. But in case you don't believe us, oh, my goodness, there is a civilian uprising in your major cities. Uh-oh, we better call our military in. See, it's the same thing the mob does, or it's the same thing the mob used to do. Knock, knock, knock. Hey, hey uh, 
Hey, how you doing? My name's Tony Batatucci, and uh, I'm the president of the uh, Neighborhood Local uh, Watch. And uh, what we do is we, uh, we we take a small donation every month, and uh, you know we have uh, we we have our uh, you know parades and and this and that, and we put ads in in the New York Times and. You know, so that way it's every month and then, we you know, we have our people keep an eye out on you because God forbid you'd have something happen in your business. You can't call the police. We're right up the street. God forbid these kids wackadoos come past here and kick your, kick your window in. You know what I mean? So a couple dollars a month, it costs you $287 a month. And that's for tier one protection or membership, I should say. Oh, no, you know, that's okay. Um, The police station is really only a half a block away. So, you know, and plus, I don't, you know, we're not really uh, dependent too much on foot traffic. What we do is more service oriented. Hey, hey, let let, let me stop you there. Let me stop you there. What what I'm telling you is some kids may come past you, some hooligans, and and, and break your fucking windows out. You understand what I'm saying? So for for $400, which you just said it was $280, no, no, no. 380 we'll make it an even four this goes on and on and then if you still say no okay okay no no you sure no okay so that night every window of yours is broken out of your shop (laughs) and then you get there tomorrow oh wow man if i was part of the name you know what i mean that's just how they control it and that's what america's done to every single developing country and bricks is saying no 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 we're gonna do something a little different let's talk about how we fold people into our group <clears throat> and we're gonna talk about our cooperation with uh counterterrorism, trade health you know medicine traditional medicine environment combating the pandemic reform on multilateral institutions among others and I assure you, military is at the top of the list there. China has Russia's back. Do you understand that? NATO knows that. Everybody that's paying attention knows that. They're, they're standing in the shadows, just waiting, just waiting. So let me get back to this really quickly. Oh, here's one more thing. Let's take a look at this. Because, see, they're already, see, this is what I was saying before about India. The Rothschild banking systems, the CFR and NATO, they're all basically, you know, it's kind of like two guys trying to, uh, you know, get with the same girl. They're all trying to woo India. They're trying to woo her. They don't want her to to be dependent on bricks. They don't want her to, uh, you know, go out with this guy. So they keep trying to do all they can to woo her. And it, this started many years ago, really, because, again, they anybody, any analyst knew this was coming. Hey, by the way, um, in America, we'd have to pay web designers, and this is what I was telling you guys before, we'd have to pay a web designer, you know, maybe $70, $80 an hour, or maybe $90 an hour. But would you, would, could you get an office together and, and get a few guys to learn, to learn HTML and you know, maybe some action scripting and JavaScripting and, you know, oh, what's that? You can pay them three rupees a week. Oh, yeah, that's great. So let's get this group over there. Say, yeah, we got banks in, in America, but they need a lot of people call. They got problems. They need information. You know, if I hire some fat slob American, I, I got to pay him like 15 bucks an hour. Because you can't even eat at McDonald's by yourself for less than twelve or fifteen dollars. <laughs> so, hey, what, no, what's that? Oh, you can get an office full of customer service reps and pay them seventy-eight rupees a week. Oh, well, then, hey, that's all you need to say. And they just slowly, over the last twenty years, started dismantling, you know, that entire sector of the American economy which was customer service and, you know, uh, tech support and, you know, really a lot of technical jobs. 
web design and and graphic design and you know it's just you know when the internet really became strong it's like okay so now i got to compete with people on fiverr some kid in india who who can live off of a dollar a month and now i got to try to compete with him i got to i can't live off less than a thousand a month and so you know that's what happened. So that's what happened to the tech sector, support sector. It's all moved to India. That is just a perk for the girl. See, I, I buy you nice things. I get you, I get you nice things. I got you jewelry. I get you some roses. Now, if you look at the screen, this is the Financial Times from the uh, September 21st, 2022. U.S. bank chiefs warn of China exit if Taiwan is attacked. So now the banking system is getting involved against China. You want to keep supporting Russia? You want to continue to stay somewhat neutral or silent on this and, you know, just uh, c continue to uh, decimate America with all your, you know, your, your puppets you have in your pocket? Okay, Citi and J.P. Morgan say they're going to follow Washington's orders in the event of a conflict. Meaning, if China goes after Taiwan, J.P. Morgan, Chase, Bank of America, and Citigroup have committed to complying with any U.S. government demand to pull out of China if Beijing were to attack Taiwan. Guess where they're going to go? Guess where they're going to go? They're going to pull out of China... And they're going to go to India. They're going to pull out of China. They're going to go to India. Already, India or, or Citigroup has pulled out uh, the consumer banking in China. This was several months ago right here. Citigroup exits consumer banking in China as part of a global pullback. U.S. banking giant Citigroup is closing its retail operations on the Chinese mainland as part of a broader withdrawal from consumer banking in 13 markets. They're heavily, heavily involved in the, um, the, the uh, real estate market in China, which is owned by the communist government. And even that's starting to fall apart. So, it's, again, it's all coming to a head. The lines are being drawn. Do you remember when they were like, oh, even if you speak Russian, you're not going to eat here when this thing with Ukraine first started? Uh, and, and, and what, you're on Dancing with the Stars, but you're from Russia? Nope, you're not on here anymore. No, no, no. No, Russia bad. Russia bad. Well, the lines are being drawn all over the place. Every market, you don't want it. China, you want to keep, you know, uh, showing support for Russia? Okay. That's a slap in the face to NATO. That's a slap in the face to the their puppets in Washington. We're going to start trying to hurt you in every way we can, just like this here. Apple to move iPad production out of China for the first time in history. This was also a couple months ago. So now Apple is pulling out of China. Guess where they're going to go? It's going to be into India and Vietnam. They're moving more and more and more and more and more production out of China. And now it's not just the big companies like Apple and Citibank. There, there's about 7,500 big, big corporations that are primarily involved with China that are moving out of China into India. So what I'm looking for next is if you start hearing talk about India dropping out of BRICS, you better believe it's 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 coming. And and again, not to get way off track, I just want to show you that you know even here, there's uh, the New York Times. When was this? This was September first this year. Tech companies slowly shift production away from China. In the coming weeks, Apple and Google will unveil their latest generation of smartphones, jockeying to distinguish the new devices from previous models. <laughs> anyway, but one of the most significant changes will go largely unnoticed by consumers. 
some of these phones will not be made in China. Can you guys guess where they're going to be made? Because it's not just the iPad. A small portion of Apple's latest iPhone will be made in India. India, India, India. And then part of Google's newest Pixel phone will be done in Vietnam. And I promise you, shortly thereof, it'll also be India. The lines are being drawn. The lines are being drawn. Why do you think India, and let's just say it's hypothetical that it's true about Wuhan and all of that involvement, but I can't talk too much about it. But let's just say that that theory is true. Do you think it's any mistake that India was the hardest hit with that in the entire world? How India's COVID-19 crisis became the worst in the world. They took her germs. They took her germs. Huh? You want to you wanna snuggle up with America? Huh? We know what you're doing. We can see what you're doing. Oh, you're going to take more industry. You want more companies. It's only a matter of time before you abandon me and Putin, ZZ Ping sh- says. To Mr. Modi, there it's only a matter of time. So, well, geez, if nobody can work at your places, mm, you know what I mean? We've been at war. This is a serious situation that all of us need to worry about. Because this, we are also being targeted. And it hasn't really even really started yet. The inflation is just the first step at this. But let me just be direct. And I, I'm sorry it's been this long. But again, give me five more minutes. You can't trust the propaganda. You guys know that. But here's what's going to happen in the next couple of days. There's going to be a massive event that's going to change the trajectory of this war, of World War III. And it basically boils down to Russia gaining back its own territory, more of the Russian territory. And you got to, and a lot of people don't know this, but you got to remember there was no Ukraine for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Ukraine was invented in 1991. Do you know that? There was no Ukraine. It was Russia. It was the Soviet Union. Russia controlled that entire area. There was no Ukraine. Ukraine only existed in the 90s. It was like 1991. And this was after the fall and the dismantling of the Soviet Union. Okay, so now who's going to be disabled next? BRICS or NATO? Because that's where this is going. Because I'm going to tell you something. They are not, nobody on this side of the uh, of, of the ocean is, is going to allow Russia to become strong again like it was in the Soviet era. It, they're just not going to allow that to happen. They've, they've thrown every obstacle they could for the last 10 years, 8, 10 years with Crimea. Who's been annexed? Do you remember Crimea? Do you remember Georgia? You know, all these skirmishes and fights. Crimea was folded back into Russia in 2014. Ukraine only became independent in 1991. And again, for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, there was no Ukraine. It was simply Russia. It was the Soviet Union. And what's going to happen in the next day or two, the referendums are going to be finalized. And they're in regions of the Ukraine right now that are on the border with Russia. And they have massive Russian populations in these in these zones. And more specifically, it's Donetsk, Luhansk, Kyrgyzstan, and Zapfora. Those are the four territories through the referendum 
are going to declare their independence away from Ukraine and be folded back into the protection of Russia. And the people want this. They don't want to be in Ukraine. They don't want to be a Ukraine. They want to be Russians the way their fathers and mothers were Russians, the way their grandfathers and grandmothers, their great great, great, great grandmothers and grandfathers were Russian. They weren't Ukrainian. Ukraine is an invention of the globalist. You understand that? They're voting. The referendum is, they're voting to secede from the Ukraine. They don't want to be a part of Ukraine. They want to rejoin Russia. And what's going to happen is, once they're annexed, because the vote to rejoin is almost a given, and that's going to be either Thursday, I think, by it's going to be, or no, the 29th, when, whatever day that was. They're go, it's going to be solidified by uh, the Kremlin. They're going to they're gonna officially reacquire these areas back into the Russian Federation. And then the Russian Federation gets bigger, just like it did in 2014 with Crimea. It got bigger, and now it's going to get bigger again. And they do not want this. The globalist controllers, Satanists, do not want this. NATO does not want this. And I I told you about Putin's speech the other day, who he vowed to protect the Russian people who are targeted by these globalist Satanists who want to degenerate them, demoralize them, control them, and use the people in the regions for their sick fucking continuing satanic communist bullshit agenda. And Putin has never really hid the fact that he can't stand these... I can't swear too much. But... Once the referendum's done, they, they're going to be folded. They're going to secede from Ukraine. They're going to be folded back into Russia on the 29th. Because I'll tell you, not only do I believe this, but pretty much a lot of people who know about this absolutely say that everybody's anticipating that these four Ukrainian regions, like uh, Luhansk, I can't, they're Russian, like Donetsk, Kershaw, and Zephora, they're, they're going to vote to secede from Ukraine, and they're going to join Russia. And then on the 29th, Putin himself in the, in the Kremlin will declare them to be, you know, back into the motherland, basically. And here, here's where it's going to get scary. So the day, which is Thursday or Friday, the day they are re refolded back into Russia, what's going to happen to all the Ukrainian military that's occupying Russian land? You understand what I'm saying now? Russia has the largest stockpile of nuclear weapons other than the United States. And Putin has vowed, vowed promised, that he will protect the Russian people with the strongest might of the full arsenal of Mother Russia. He will protect them with every missile they have. And if that means launching tactical nukes, then that's what it means. Because these are the two bullies that are not going to walk away from each other. NATO cannot walk out and be bullied by Russia and show China, holy shit, they don't, they're going to walk right out of this. So now give China and and Russia the upper hand in the global view of uh, power? Because really, that's what this is boiled down to. This is why I keep saying Putin is not going to back down. Not, Not only for the fact of Napoleon Syndrome. He can't back down. NATO cannot back down. NATO, which is America, you might as well say, is not going to look weak in front of Putin or China. 
the world. And I promise you that China and Putin are not going to look weak in front of the world, in front of NATO. They've put their line in the sand. They're done, and they've said this in printed articles, the New York Times. They're done with these globalist, communist way of life that are trying to indoctrinate uh, their people and steal their resources and set up military bases like they've done time and time and time and time and time again all over the Middle East, the 20-some year war for what? To kill one guy? Come on. Mission accomplished. 300 new military bases, right? So the 29th. On after the 29th, which is when the referendum will be officially lauded by the Kremlin, any NATO-backed Ukrainian force in any of the thousands of miles of the new Russian borders, I promise you will be immediately neutralized by Putin. And I don't care how many ways the communists try to twist this and, and their their media companies try to all, you know, it's a small percentage of these people in, in these, uh, you, you know, they're sympathizers, they're Russian sympathizers, just like the January 6th, uh, you know, uh, what, what do they call it, uh, whatever. <laughs> no guns, no nothing, but we're still having trials over something that was was basically a rally. It's whatever the media says it is, right? It's, that's what it is. And, it, and this is the same thing. It's whatever the media says it is. It, it's, the, it's the KGB Kremlin-backed rebels that are causing this. They don't, these, you know, these people don't want to be, they don't want to be out of Ukraine, even though they have no connection to Ukraine. Again, Ukraine wasn't even invented until 1991. Oh, but they're going to die for a name, right? They're going to die. Get the f*** out of here. But all I'm telling you is this is going to be finalized within the next day or two. And God only knows what's going to happen. Just look at what's going on with the stock market in the last few days. Look at what's happened to gold in the last few weeks. They've deflated gold, which was around $1,800, $1, record amounts an ounce. They took it all the way down to $1,600. Why? They're buying, buying. They're, gonna, they're trying to hoard as much gold as they can because they know it's coming. It's going to happen. Gold and silver is the only thing really worth anything unless you have resources. Just get ready. I'm really genuinely going to try to get what I feel is important out to you guys as quick as I can. Because I I had a dream the other night. I'm just going to tell you this real quick. I've not dreamed about my dad since he died. And there, there was three people that, that died very close to me in, in a basically a relatively short period of time. My mom, my dad, and my one aunt. These, these are who raised me. And I was at this house. And I, I know the house. I mean, it was my house. But, I mean, I have a big deck on the front. And I'm standing on the deck. And I see my mom, I see my aunt, and I see my dad. And it's like the first time I had a dream about my dad. And, you know, it was one of those things everybody was uh, standing around. Like, they just, they look nervous. Like, nobody would really look me in my eye. You know, my uh, only one that would look at me was was my aunt. She used to call me hun. She'd say, hey, hun. Uh, but I walked up to my dad, and I, I gave him this real big hug, and I put my head on his chest like I was you know, 10 years old. And uh, I, I forget what I said to him or whatever. And he pushed me off of him and he like, you know, waved his hand, like, you know, like saying, stop, no, no. And and he tapped me and he, and he pointed out, he pointed west. No, 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 it was east, it was east. 
He pointed out to the east. It was actually the northeast. These storm clouds that I saw in the sky were the most terrifying clouds I've ever seen in my life. Nobody said nothing except my aunt. Nobody said a word to me. My dad didn't say anything, but he, he stopped what I was doing. He pushed me back a little bit, and he just pointed out to the sky. And, he's, and I'm telling you, there's a storm coming. And I've never in my life seen clouds like this. So I don't know. There's something coming. It's an it's a logical impossibility for it to 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 not come to the great reset, right? That's what they, we've all been indoctrinated with. Reset means start from scratch, and you cannot start from scratch unless everything is scratched. Support covert radio. I would love to bring you content once a day. This is just the best, I, I can't imagine, you know, I've always said, I want, I wish I was alive a hundred years ago. You know what I mean? But I don't know. We're going to see things that we never, you can't fathom. And I mean, that's a good and bad thing, but we got to be on the right side of uh, spirituality, you know, pray for discernment, ask God for forgiveness, ask Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ into your heart. And, um, just hope to God we can change what's about to happen because these people are evil. The There's no question about it. This is a, a, a form of evil that, and it's just like the people on, on this, in the sector, which, and I'm just one last thing I'm telling you, I did a video, but I, I'm not going to upload it because I lost my mind. The next video from covert radio is going to be part two of this true frame and stuff. But I found things that I never knew existed, and I cannot believe what they've done to this guy. And just the inhuman, soulless evil. You're demons. You're demons. You're soulless demons. And I have zero respect for punching a guy who is unstable. You think you're tough? I mean, and what what like what kind of person supports that? Just the dredges of intelligence, the low 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 IQ Dolts, the low, low IQ troglodytes that are in this sector is, it's actually stunning. It's stunning. And I'm so fucking happy I'm not around here anymore because you people are insane and you're dangerous, you're evil, and you absolutely will get everything you have coming to you. Covert Radio, you guys take care. Have a good day.